Hello everyone, Christian here. Did you know Shopify just added a brand new app, Search and Discovery? It's going to make it easier for you to manage filters, set out rules for search, and make the experience on your site a lot better. Let's check out the details. So most visitors either use your store's search to look for what they need, or find what interests them through recommendations from your website and your navigation, right? Those who use the search bar are two to three times more likely to convert than those who don't. So um, at Shopify, they know that it's, you need efficient and effective search and discovery, um, and that will make just all the difference, right, um, on your store. And that's why they're not only just improving search and discovery capabilities, um, they're also adding that new search and discovery app that supports better online experience by helping business owners create or they find what interests them through recommendations from your website via the navigation, recommended products, uh, your homepage, etc. Um, those who use the search bar are two to three times more likely to convert than those who don't. This is according to a Forrester report. Now, Shopify knows that efficient and effective search and discovery makes all the difference on your store. And that's why they've added this new search and discovery app that has a few goodies in there, mixed in there, uh, that we're gonna talk about here in a second. But essentially, they will help you uh, have a better search experience. Uh, you will be able to provide a better recommend product recommendation experience. And obviously, what we've been talking for a while, uh, filters on your store. And obviously this will increase sales and build a stronger customer loyalty with your customers. So why does search and discovery matter? Well, to put it bluntly, shoppers don't have time to waste, right? When they struggle to find what they want and don't, they don't see something that sort of picks their interest, then they're just, they're gonna click away, right? Uh, after a poor search experience on a website, 85% of shoppers said they changed their perception of that brand. Now, before we move on and we add the app, I just want to say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Now, doing this new search and discovery app will give you an edge over your competitors, and that is by, number one, influencing which products your shoppers see first, which is super important. Um, improve your customer satisfaction and loyalty. You'll be able to convert more leads into customers. And overall, obviously, you're gonna increase your sales. So again, by providing a better experience for your customers, you're gonna get this edge, right? These four things um, give it an edge versus your competitors. So let's go ahead and get the app installed. Some of you, you might have gotten a notification not too long ago where they've automatically added this search and discovery app. Um, you might have gotten an email or you might have gotten a notification inside of your Shopify dashboard. Um, I will say that some of the functionality, like the filters, it's already been released. So now they're just adding it to this app. So if any, I think we've made a video in the past about filters and that really hasn't changed, but now they sort of moved it to this new search and discovery app. So even if you get rid of the search and discovery app, uh, some of these things, some of these uh, features will still stay within your store. So um, if you ever want to delete any of them, you'll have to manually delete them and then go ahead and delete uh, the app. Okay, so what we're gonna do is click on apps and we're gonna type in search discovery. This is gonna open up the app store and it's gonna be this one, Shopify search and discovery by Shopify. It's gonna be completely free. We're gonna add that app. And I will say this, the at least, I know at least the filtering won't work unless you have an OS 2.0 theme. And to be honest, Shopify has sort of gotten away from the OS 2.0 naming conventions. Um, I think it was maybe a little bit confusing for, for some customers. Um, and rightfully so, I mean, you have OS 2.0 themes, but then individual themes have their own version number. So it was kind of causing, causing a little bit of confusion. Uh, with, even with some of our customers, uh, where, where they didn't know exactly, they saw that their theme version was version 13, so they were like, oh, we're under OS 2.0. But that's not the case. Um, OS 2.0 was just a sort of an internal name that Shopify had for this new set of features that they've added 
to, to themes um, and just the capability really um, because then each individual theme would have to upgrade right to to get to these new OS 2.0 features and so just to keep that in mind if you have a really old theme you might need to upgrade that version of the theme so for example you could have impulse version 4 um, but whenever they actually added the OS 2.0 features was on version six, right? So you just need to upgrade that impulse to version six of impulse. I actually made a video on how to upgrade your theme. Uh, you can check that out right here. And this will kind of walk you through how to do that. Um, again, you'll need that in order to be able to use all these features that we're gonna talk about today. And as you can see, actually the first thing right here, which I just talked about a little bit ago, was that filters have moved. So previously you would edit filters under settings, um, but now they've moved it to, to this new search and discovery app. So the filters, again, it's like the, the ability for them to filter by price or color or size, et cetera. All right, so now that we have the, the app installed, you'll see like the actual overview page is just a, the overview page just essentially has just three buttons in here that will take you to the three main features of this new app. So filters, which hopefully if you've been watching some of our videos, you know about filters. Um, the good thing about these is that you can now have these filters in your search results page. So if someone searches for blue jeans, then they have the ability to potentially filter by size, right? Right within the search results page, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Now, right now, I think the default for a lot of stores, you'll see availability and price as just filters that, that automatically just pop in here. Um, but you can actually click on edit filters and this will give you the available filters for your store. Now, the options here will look a little bit different than in your store. So um, I know we, we try to cater to the clothing stores, but I know people from all industries watch this. So for example, we made examples on like candles, right? And like the burn time for a candle. That was like a meta field that we had created a long time ago. So that could be an option, right? Um, right within here for people to filter. So if they're searching or browsing for candles and they wanna know uh, the burn time for eight plus hours and they will be able to click on that. Um, <clears throat> so right within here, again, it's just a matter of just check marking um, some of these and hoping that you have it correctly inside of the actual product that you've placed in here um, or the products that you have inside of your store. So for example, if we have uh, color and size, this is something that actually we've run into uh, for some of our clients where, for example, size is a big one. People who are uploading products to the store, they don't have a uh, sort of parameters on what, what exactly is it that the size needs to be written out so let me give you an example if we upload jeans i don't know every thursday um or let's say t-shirts every thursday we don't have a, a naming convention for the sizes so that means that um jimmy is going to upload all the shirts and he's going to use l s m for the sizing large small medium so he's just going to use one letter for all those and then we have brenda when she uploads on the next Thursday and she uploads the t-shirts, she actually writes out the whole word, large, medium, small, et cetera. So that right there, um, it's something that we can't necessarily fix right now with filters. Hopefully that's an update that Shopify does for these filters. Otherwise you will need another, a different app um, for that because this won't necessarily aggregate those together and count it as one, right? Um, it will still show L and it will still show large as two different uh, variations, if you will. So it doesn't recognize and you, there's no way for you to sort of merge those two into being the same thing, which is a large t-shirt. I think that's one of the, the biggest things that I wish this app had because it would solve a lot of problems. But regardless of that, you still have the ability to do filters for availability, price, color, size, etc. Um, but like I said, it won't fix any problems that you have when you upload products and the way that you upload some of those. This also has a little reminder here, again, that filters will only be available to customers who are using the OS 2.0 themes. Um, so that's very, very important for you to, to update that. Now, before we move on to the next feature inside of this app, I wanna let you in a little secret. We're using a tool called Triple Whale 
for all of our clients and group coaching members. And this tool allows us to see the lifetime value of a customer at 30, 60, and 90 days. But what we're most excited about is the estimated action of customers. Imagine being able to send out an email or run an ad campaign to customers who are likely to buy from you a second or a third time and knowing when to send out these marketing messages. It's very, very powerful. Triple Will actually centralizes all the metrics from a lot of the tools that you use right within your pocket. So Instagram, Facebook, Shopify, Klaviyo, all of them, all into one place. They simplify, inform, and save you time. Make sure to check out the link in the description below if you want a discount on Triple Will. All right, so moving on here, the next big feature for search and discovery obviously is search is in the name so with search you can actually do a couple of cool things with this before i think it was up to the theme right for you to have a little bit of extra features within search and obviously you would have to add additional apps um, in order to to get anything more relevant when it comes to to search now they've done two really cool things here one product boosts that means that depending on what they're searching you can create a product boost so let's go ahead and create one just so I can kind of show you. So um, add products to boost, let's see here. All right, and there we have it. So we've added two products here. So two products to boost and then search related terms. So boosted products are displayed on the search results page when customers search for these particular items or terms, sorry. So it's not for all the search results. It's just for individual search results. You can actually set products to boost so if they're looking for something like a t-shirt or fall, for example here, then I want these two products to be shown on the search results page, um, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. So I'm gonna click save on that and we're gonna check that here in a second. All right, so now you can create synonyms. So for example, uh, the word pants, right? You have, I think it's, there's 40 different synonyms for pants. So you have trousers, slacks, stries, keks, briefs. So these are all synonyms for the same word. So it would be awesome, right, to create that synonym group. So we can go ahead and create a synonym group here. And then you can add the list of synonyms. Synonyms tell the search engine which words should be related to display even more relevant results. Or it, it could be even something within your store and how you're naming your products, right? So if, for example, I think that actually those two products, in the product title, it actually says T. Not everyone's gonna search for T. T-E-E -E, to search for a t-shirt. So it might be important to put t-shirt, the T dash shirt, um, and just tops would be another word that I kind of popped into my head. So all those keywords that are related, uh, it might be important to put them together um, because you might name this product T, but then you might, I don't know, a month from now, upload some new shirts and actually call them t-shirts. So it would be important to to make these sentiment groups. And if people are searching for pants, maybe, maybe they don't know that pants I mean, to me, pants uh, could be short pants or long pants. So I'm just gonna put shorts in here too. All right, so now under synonyms, we have our synonym groups, right? So at the first one right here, we have pants and then synonyms that fall under pants would be pants, trousers, briefs, slack, short. Other terms, which I, I think it might help you too, it would be um, plural and singular um, of the same words. Uh, really, it wouldn't hurt to just add those words in, in there. So I would probably do that as well. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can see the product boost. I'm actually um, very curious about that product boost. So let's search here for t-shirt. It looks like we have the products in here. They are being displayed um, right within here. Um, and as you can see here as well, the filter availability. Um, inside of the search results page, which is, again, it's just gonna make it so much easier for the customer to find products. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't think we have any pants in here. Uh, we only have t-shirts in the store. So I don't think the pants synonym group is actually gonna work. So besides the uh, product boost and synonyms, uh, synonyms under search, the last feature that we have here is product recommendations. Now, with product recommendations, um, you see these on almost every page. Let me see if I actually have it um, installed in this one where, yeah, so we have a, you may also like right within here. Um, we also have a complete look. So it's this, you may also like that will, I think, change. So let's go ahead and add a product recommendation here. Um, and all this is, is you actually have a little bit of a say now when it comes to these. 
Whereas before, again, if you are not using any app, this, um, it was, you're at the whim of the thing, of the theme, right? So the theme says like, oh yeah, these are the products that we actually recommend with this thing, like, that's it. But if you have like a product that it should be shown with this shirt, then now you have the opportunity to actually show your customers um, product re recommendations based on uh, your knowledge, not necessarily some kind of algorithm or something like that. Let's go ahead over here and search for the product. So it's that emerald about morning. So we created that, that's the source product. <clears throat> and as you can see, the related products of one, two, three, four are the ones that are actually showing right there. Um, and these are, you can, as you can see, auto, auto generated uh, right within here. So let's go ahead and pick that design a Pulp Fiction. So, okay, so it gives me a little warning. It says already appears as an auto, auto generated related product. But as you can see, we didn't see it um, initially when we went to, to this page. It only shows us the, the first top four, um, I would say. Now, let's go ahead and click save on that and let's refresh our page. All right, so it takes a little bit of tinkering uh, with the product recommendations, but um, I think we got it now where at least it's showing some of the products that we selected um, and not the auto-generated one. So if you check mark that hide auto-generated, it's gonna completely hide all the other auto-generated and actually put in here um, the ones that you've selected. Um, and it looks like it might still be a little finicky. Um, so you might want to test around with it, create a couple of them and then go and open your uh, your product page for that individual product. I would probably do it in a private window or an incognito mode if you're using Chrome and just really see if, if it's actually pulling through and showing you the products that they need to be shown. But um, in theory, this is awesome. Um, it works a little bit, um, but we did have a couple of hiccups there. Um, and I, I believe, here's what I, what I think is happening. The These first two products, I believe were the ones that were auto-generated. And because we have the hide auto-generated, um, that's why it's not showing them. Um, again, you probably won't run into this if you have a bunch of other products in your store. Uh, we only have like a handful of products in this test play store. Um, but there's also like, I don't know, this right here. <laughs> How there's like text on top of this and it just kind of looks kind of wonky. Um, it could be the browser that I'm using, I'm using Safari. So it could be that in Chrome, it doesn't show um, any of those things. but. Anyways, um, hopefully that you learn how to use now the search and discovery app. Um, I'm hoping that Shopify will add new features to the search and discovery, make it even better. Um, I mean, I can see like um, having the ability to, again, do the filters and combine those, those filters um, when it comes to the sizing or colors or things like that. And then uh, just making search more powerful too. Um, imagine being able to, um, auto generate right within the, the search bar, how it automatically gives you recommendations. So giving recommendations right within there, um, correcting spelling. So there's there's really a lot of opportunity for the search and discovery app and they're just scratching the surface really uh, with, with what's possible uh, within your store. And hopefully I know that product recommendations are available only on their product page, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they do something for non Shopify plus uh, customers where they're able to do something like this in the cart page or checkout. Um, I think those would be amazing uh, to have right built in right within within Shopify instead of having to use any third party uh, tools or apps. Um, again, hopefully you learn how to use the search and discovery app. Um, sorry, like that last one was kind of wonky, but um, it looks to be working somewhat right now. Um, if you have any questions about search and discovery, please let us know in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one.